Pumping it up a little, let's start with 60 pound dumbbells. Let's go. That's good enough to warm up. There again, you want to start with a lighter weight and work your way up. This is a mass builder. This is not a fly. It is a mass builder. It's also an explosive movement. Here we go, baby. Come on. Yes. Yes. You're exploding with these. You're not just tipping toe through the movement. You got to really jam it through the ceiling. 68 repetitions. You want to be doing at least three to four sets. Super set it. Yes. All right, Dave. That's good. I'll handle the same way. Got to warm them up good. See, the key to this stuff is longevity. Don't act crazy. Train smart. Train consistent. And you'll be training until you're the age of my friend Albert Baxter, who's now 60 years old. Still pumping iron. Come on, man. So now he's training harder. He's training smarter, right? You got it, baby. Let's go. Warm it up, Lee. Good. Yeah. Real explosion. Right. Okay. 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 Now we're going to move no day. Oh, Wait a minute, amateur. Right, you got to right, move right. over here next. The super set it. Right. You got to keep these amateurs on track. Okay, you're set first, Dave. Let's see how that weight feels. Pull down behind the neck. I'll pull down to the front. Whichever feels best to you. All right, baby. Okay, you're coming down. You're squeezing at the bottom. Sit straight. Sit forward, amateur. You see? That's the problem with these amateurs. They want to lay down when they're doing these things. You got to be forward and arch the back. That way you get more and more lower lumbar region involved in exercise. Work the entire back. Make sure you get a good stretch at the top. This is a rhythmic movement. We're looking at doing anywhere between 12, 15 reps. When you're training heavy and you're doing these, 10 to 12 reps is okay. Let's go, baby. All right. Don't want to lay too far back when doing these, okay, Dave? Okay. Keep that in mind. Been training you for a whole year and you haven't learned anything yet. Okay, I'm just learning, Lee. You know, I think you're trying to, you know, so you save to save a few of your secrets. You, you don't, want to, to, them, don't want to give me all the secrets. Right? No, not all you of them. You gotta save a few right. of them. That's right. You're still number one, right? Yeah, so. baby. You're number one. I'm catching now. I'm coming. I'm all coming. All right. Come on, Lee. Nice warm up. Good, yeah. Good warm up. You get a good stretch. Top. When you come down, squeeze and arch your back. You don't want to be leaning back like so, okay? Okay. All right. When you move that way, you can really feel the lower, lower portion of the back. Exactly. That's why the, the, uh, the, uh, the more straight you are, and you have the back slightly arched, the more muscles are going to get involved in the movement. And you know those lower back muscles in competition time. Real important. They always yeah. look for that Christmas tree, right? It makes a difference between that. Right. You know that. We need losing, right? All right, baby. Here we go. All right. Come on. Another set. Let's pump it up a pump little. Pump it up. Okay. Pump it up. You got the way. All right, baby. Here we go again. Let's grab the big one. You can handle that, can't you? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a good try. <laughs> Listen, that a well, sweet thing. If it doesn't kill me, it'll make me stronger, right? Sweet as he can be. I keep, I keep saying, if it doesn't kill me, it'll make me That's stronger. That's right. That's what I like about these young guys, you know? So sweet and nice and innocent. Come on, baby. Come on. Put it on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes, I like that. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's it, Dave. That's it, baby. Woo! Label for me. All right. Woo! I get so into that first. Good, baby. six, seven. I'm going to do at least three to four sets. Incline dumbbell presses. Super set it with three to four sets. A pull it out. Behind, arm, front. Whichever feels best to you. Okay? Now check me out when I pick these things up. A lot of you amateurs have a tendency to do this all wrong. You end up ripping one of your arms out of place, okay? Or dropping it on somebody's toe. Here we go. Place them on your knees like so, especially when you get over 100 or so. Uh, as far as poundage is concerned. Keep one leg up at a time like so. Okay, it makes it real easy to get them up there. All right. Yeah, squeeze it on top. Yeah. Come on, Lee. Yeah. Squeeze it up there. That's it. Explode. Yeah. All right, baby. All right. All right. Check that out. It's cool, isn't it? Come on, baby. Let's go, right. Dave. You're set, baby. Lee, pump, pump it up a pump little it bit. Up. Increase the weight. Do what you feel. Do what you feel. That's a little light. 
That's what it's all about. The first set of the wall. Here we go. All right, Dave. Come on, easy way, baby, easy way. Come on, get your mind into it. This is what's going to make you number one. This is what's going to make you number one. Come on. Let's go, baby. Squeeze that. I like that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Squeeze that. Nobody's better. Nobody's better. Come on. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Yeah. All right. Woo. I like that. Woo. Man, you're on my trail, ain't you, Dave? <laughs> I told you. That's you, how I want to keep you on your toes. Serious, man. You <laughs> can't slack off now, man. Man, they're trying to sneak up on you. <laughs> Come on, Lee. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes. Okay, this time I'm going to be doing pull-downs behind the neck. And if you choose to do these, make sure you do them right. You've got to arch the back and use good control at all times. Other than that, it will not be an effective way of playing the back. Okay? All right, pull down behind the neck. Come on. It's a little heavy. A little heavy, all right. It's one thing a little different about it. But pull downs on the front, you can use heavier weight. From behind, you can't because you want to make sure the strictness isn't lost. You got to have good form. There we go. That's right. Upper section. That's right. You want to make sure the back remains arched. A lot of you have a tendency to hump forward like so. That's because the weight is too heavy. So start with a lighter weight. Make sure the form is always correct. I better stop working on that. <laughs> yeah. Can't touch that. <laughs> Come on, Lee. Squeeze it on the bottom. That's it. Come on. Really squeeze on the bottom. Come on, Lee. Let's go, man. This is it. Last step, best step. Come on. All right. I think we got our message across, Dave. Okay. Be up to the beat. Woo! Right to the 